lie, the past few months I have been feeling stuck. I felt like I was running in circles, going nowhere. But I am learning to just take one day at a time and just be in presence because we are literally just dust that leaves on a rock. One thing that has helped me clear my head is by incorporating some time in the morning to journal. I am someone who thinks a lot and I have so many inner dialogues in my head that I just can't help it sometimes. But something about physically writing them down just helps putting them into boxes that they belong to. I also journal with prompts on days when I don't know what to write about and for today's journaling session, I used the prompts from this class on Skillshare called Writing for Self-Discovery by Yasmin Cheyenne. I really like the way she structured the class. It helps to dig deeper into your thoughts and cultivate mindfulness. There are also thousands of other classes from different categories easily accessible on Skillshare. I highly recommend you guys to check it out if you are looking to upskill yourself or just to explore your creativity. They have also given me a link to share with you guys and the first thousand of people to use my link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. I just got ready because I'm gonna be going out in a bit. I actually don't really know where we are going yet. We might just go out and get some food. But since today is a Saturday, I just thought I should just go out and touch some grass because I have been home for the past few days and I just wanna go out and get some fresh air. I really like my outfit today. I was browsing through online and trying to shop for a knit tube top kind of thing last night and I realized I have this knit skirt and I thought it would look good as a little tube top so that's what I'm wearing today I'm pairing it with this like black red skirt and I like it it's very cute today is 2nd of July I signed up for a gym membership yesterday I finally did it and I went to the gym yesterday for the first time in months and my arms are so sore today i think i'm gonna be going tonight with my friends as well um new month new me i feel like i just needed to do something to you know give myself a little glow up i also kind of feel like doing something to my hair so this might be the last day i'm going out looking like this i might do something crazy like dyeing it red i don't know i have been wanting to dye my hair red but i just haven't had the courage to do so so I might just do it, you know, I might do it tomorrow. Also, I'm wearing this really big hoop on my helix piercing because it got infected again. It has been almost a year and it still hasn't healed yet. But I have this big hoop earring that I usually wear on this piercing. So I put it on and it's healing pretty good so far because it has like a lot of space for it to heal. If you have helix piercing, let me know how long it took you to heal because I think I got my piercing sometime around last August and it's been like 10 months and it still hasn't healed yet. Um, it still kind of hurts whenever I press like really hard on it. Time to head out. So pretty here. The cafe is closed today and it's also in the middle of nowhere so we have no other cafes to go. I think I'm just gonna take some pictures here. It's really cute though. I really love the decorations. So pretty. Hello. <laughs> Male coffee. Really one coffee. surrounded by clothes right now because I just did a closet clean out. I spent the whole entire day yesterday taking pics and listing them on my carousel and I've already sold quite a few items so I'm gonna be packing this first because I want to do everything at once tomorrow. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for a day or two to ship everything out together just because I just listed a few more items this morning and I'm still getting some orders in. Oh, 
I just packed all of the packages and I'm gonna go drop all of this off at the post office now. Hi everyone, I just got back from the gym. Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt the vlog, but all of the clips from this day had a really loud background noise because my AC was on and it's really bothering me because it just keeps getting louder and louder. So I'm here to do a voiceover to what I was saying that day and I'm gonna try my best to match the pace of my speech at that time. So if it looks a little off, that's the reason why. I went into Watson's and got myself these black pink box dye and I decided to just dye my hair red myself kind of nervous because I haven't used any box dye for years now I think the last time I did it was like 3 or 4 years ago and box dye can be kind of damaging to your hair but I really wanted to have red hair I was actually planning to go to a salon to get it done but I talked to the hairstylist yesterday and I asked if I can get my hair red without bleaching them but apparently they said no this red shade is the color that I want and I sent this to them and they told me that I can't get this tone without bleaching my hair so if I can't really get it that red in the salon I feel like it's not worth it to pay that much to get them done and I'm also really scared that it's gonna turn out completely different than what I imagined and I have to pay the price so I'm gonna do it myself and if I don't like it I have no one to blame but myself I look pretty rough right now my hair is really greasy from the gym but I didn't wash it because I wanted the grease to kind of protect my scalp from the box dye I don't know if it works that way but I'm just gonna put hair dye directly onto my hair oh my gosh I look so <laughs> So yeah, let's damage my hair together and call it a glow up. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> what if it turns out like blotchy? They didn't provide anything to protect my ear. This is my new hair now. I switch over to my phone because the color of my hair is kind of messing up with the color grading of my camera. So um, I think this is more realistic. This is what my hair color looks like after dyeing it twice with the box dye. The first time I dyed it, which is in the last clip you saw, I didn't really do a very good job. I missed out a few spots. So the hair near my scalps are all still black. So I waited for another three days and my sister helped me dye it again for a second time the color is a lot more vibrant now which is like the exact shade that i wanted so also gave myself a little haircut last night because i wanted more layers in my hair i added more layers here i'm not sure if you can see but i feel like they just frame my face better i wasn't sure about how i feel about like my haircut last night so i got kind of nervous because i feel like i messed up but now that I have tried to style it, I think I like it.
I was gonna do a simple makeup, kind of going for that clean girl makeup look. But once I started, I just kept adding more and more. And this is not clean girl look at all. I might keep this shirt, but I wore this shirt to sleep last night. So I don't know whether if I should do that. It kind of feels like I'm wearing pajamas out, but this is pretty cute. It's like a standard crop t-shirt. Yeah, let's go Huan Yifu. Let's go! <laughs> 